today's episode. How are you doing, Top Papa Samba? Welcome. So, today, no, well, right now, it's time for breakfast. And I'm going to do those tortilla bread I made yesterday because I realised I didn't show you how they came out. So, um, and some of you really wanted to know how waffle ironed tortillas turned out. So, here we go. So first we have those tortilla bread and I'm going to cut them. These are two and I'm going to cut through both of them like that. So this minute I will put some vegan cheese and some chipotle, chipotle um, paste. I think that's enough. Okay, some chipotle paste, about a teaspoon of each. Smear it, smear it. It doesn't really matter how you smear it because since you will be folding it the important thing is that it goes sort of from the center and out so that when you bite into the upper part of what will be this sort of pocket you still get some paste taste there we go and i've just about finished my vegan cheese so i'm just going to put pieces of it yeah, like that. And then let's fold the bread up, up, oh fuck, <laughs> up and over. Up, up and over, up, up and over we go. And then let's waffle. And we are done. On with the next perfect little pocket. People, I think it's time for walk in this way I'm so pink. Damn filter, I'm not the, I'm not this pink. Anyway, it's time for a walk in the snow, but first a shower. People, are you ready to go for a walk? Good, because I am. So I thought I'd take you with me down to the great lake that is um, the reason Stockholm is where Stockholm is. It's called Mälaren. And I really don't know what that means. Must have a meaning, but maybe some ancient Swedish word. Mälaren. Look, they put up, what do you call this? Fogelhalk in Swedish, I don't know it's English worth that. Birds houses? And they've written birds in Swedish on them. So we are getting closer to where we are going, or the first stop, yes. It's a tower. So if you like this view, imagine when we get up there. So that water there is Merlin and that's where we're going. I'm now going to take a selfie and I'm going to pretend like someone else is taking it because that seems to be very popular. So what? We suck up. Yes, like that. Oh, no, no wait. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I really love that Stockholm started building high-rise buildings. Those are quite new and I think the newest one is this. 
and of course we have these quite new and these and that one so as I'm walking down I saw these green things and I think these are beehives right do you think they're beehives this whole area that we're in is new about 10 years I guess oh maybe a little older but it just used to be warehouses and stuff and then someone realized wait it's on the waterfront this is prime real estate so they tore down the warehouses good and they built these and the only sad part of this is that they I think they should have built all the houses really really high So if any of you watched this summer, this is the lake that I and Martin and Magnus were on. But, damn it, it's the only lake in Stockholm. So if you see me in the water, this is the water. Let's get on to the jetty. Oh. What's that? So this floating jetty has been here for about 10 years and that's long before these high rises were built. These were built so it was really nice. There wasn't that many people living here. You can easily get a room in the summer. You can sort of get a place, room. You could fit onto this. And then they built those and lots of other houses behind. And it was a little harder to get a place here or get a, f well, f you know, to, to, it was impossible to get a place here. But the thing is, as the sun goes, it goes behind those and behind that. So suddenly, during the best time of day, this was all in shadow. So it was sort of people were moving and going down. If you didn't mind, so lying in the shadow for a hour or so but I think they should they will we need more floating jetties on this side over there is where Magnus and I used to walk and up there if you can see that's where we were when we had uh, when we were looking out over the Stockholm doesn't look that high but it feels high when you're there that is the bridge I used to cross going home and going into the Söder so this house is just about ready and I think they're building a restaurant at the top that would be kind of fantastic wouldn't it to be able to see all over Stockholm it's like that place in New York where you can go, there's a restaurant that turns. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, people, let's start our return. Okay, people, I just want to show you something. Half an hour ago, we were up there. Remember? Remember the dubba 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 dub hashtag Stephen Sondheim. So when you see things like this on the sidewalk, it's a little bit of a warning that that is going on up above. Snow that is about to fall down and hit you in the head. So spring is sort of here where we you can see these. This is a Swedish dish, a delicacy called uh, semla. I don't know what that means actually. It sounds sort of Finnish, I guess. Semla. 
These are fantastic. So it's bun with a paste, or almond paste and cream. So I can't have them unless they're vegan. Really good. And we only, you're only supposed to eat them at a certain period after, I think after Lent. I'm not sure. But we don't sort of, we don't abide to those rules anymore. We have them earlier and later. On our way home, I live over there in these houses in the one, two, three, in the third one, that's where Ulf lives. And I just want to show you behind that. Can you see it's that tower again? And here, train tracks. Oh, can't really see that, can you? Now you might. Yes, now you might. People, I'm home. I had lunch, cookie and tea. Just one cookie. That, those cookies I got from Ulf that are ginger snaps, I guess. Yeah. So, what am I to do the rest of the day? Hmm. How about starting to organise the hallway? Yes? So, it looks... I don't know if you can see this. It looks a little bit better. But... Because I used to have this IV stand here. <laughs> the reason I sort of I moved it into the bedroom. So here it is, hidden among the avocados. But I don't know what to do with it because it's great. It is a great thing to have. I don't know what to, to hang from it though. It's uh, it was it was great to have it in the hallway, but it was a waste of space because I just hung everything here instead of hanging it here. So this is my new problem here. These are all my winter hats. And this, I, I need to have something that looks tidier and more organized. So, and these are all my bags. I am like an old bag lady. Bags, 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 bags. I need some sort of organisement of the bags so that I can use them all because I don't use them all. I sort of tend to use one and then I use that all the time because that, that's one of those things I hang where I can see it. And then I sort of suddenly realise, oh wait, I've got that excellent one from Uniqlo. Or maybe I should use this one from Ikea. You get what I mean? Or this one from Uniqlo. Damn it. But now we had to do something about this because this looks like something that should not be seen. Okay, here we go. Here are all my knitted hats or beanies or whatever you call them. And this has made me think of I want to start something new. Yes, people, I will start something I called Joachim's Hats. Oh, fuck, I can't get it on. <laughs> oh, I did. Where I go through one hat every day for as long as the hats lasts. Oh, you know, so I'm going to start with this one. This is a hat that says, Dear Yorick, alas, fuck, I'm, I'm taking it off. Alas, Port Yorick. So, I need a place where I could sort of take all my pictures with the hats. All my hat pictures. Is this good? Well, it is, sort of. Yes, this will do. Previously on my IGTV channel. This bundle of joy. So now uh, we are in the fire exit stairs. People love Magnus. So what about this weird height? Two Swedes visiting London for four... So, I went down a rabbit hole. I started sorting out my hat and then I decided, well, I'm going to do this sort of inventory where I write about one hat each day. 
And then this one, this particular hat I started with, I bought when I was in London in 2018. So then I had to check up everything because I've written sort of a blurb about it. And then I started, oh, maybe I should start sorting out these IGTV episodes. You said that I sort of linked one before. And then I sort of just disappeared. Now I need some popcorn desperately. <laughs> So as I'm walking down, I saw these green things and I think these are beehives, right? Do you think they're beehives? Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.